Special teams, offense, defense. Let's finish a full game tonight. Full game tonight. Leave no doubt who we are. Leave no doubt who we are. Welcome into Cougar football, ladies and gentlemen, as we are set to bring you another live broadcast here on WTNQ FM 104.9. Self up at the top, Rutherford wants the screen to Phillips, has the screen to Phillips. He pulls it down and he gets the crowd of people. Now he's out. Out past the 50 yard line, up past the 45 yard line, still on his feet at the 40. Crunching down to the 30 yard line, and Elijah Phillips just absolutely denying to go down on that play. Big back set for Drew Jordan. He'll take it off left side. Burst through the end zone for the first touchdown of the night. Riley Wallace's extra point goes up and in. Cougars leading here on the road early on. 7 0, 855 left to go. Daniel Kitts looking. Campbell County getting decent pressure. Flushes him from the pocket. Drew Jordan in there. And there's a Campbell County. As they got him out of the pocket, Drew Jordan was the man on the blitz over there on the far side. And Bryce Trenum. Travis able to be Johnny on the spot on that. The Cougars are in business with the first turnover of the football game. First and 10 at the Cards 43 yard line. Huge pickup for Campbell County. On the near side, they will take it to England. Flair it out there. Pulls it down to the 45 40. Turns on the Jets. Gets outside. 35 30, 25 20, 15, 10, 5, 6. He got those shoulders squared. Yeah. Woo, that was all John Barco. So third and 11 from their own 36 yard line. It will roll near side. Jordan pressured him again. Bang! As they had to go up in the air, Elijah Phillips just cut him down. And Bowman to our near side. Barry by himself up to the top. England is the man that will get the carry. He'll go off left hand side. Lowers his shoulder at the 40 yard line. And man alive did he bring some pain on that one. Rutherford low snap. Looking, looking. Throws. Wants the back of the end zone. Has the back of the end zone. And has Elijah Phillips for six. Believe in it. Yeah. Six Logan three. Giles seeing some action at tailback. It looks like they're 6 3 to Jen. Yep. Yeah. Not seen him that much. On second down, though, he was able to pick up seven yards to bring up third down and three. Rutherford will throw, throws it for the corner, as the corner, as it, four, six. For Campbell County, all over the Carnes Beavers here on the road by a score of 27 to 7. That's the opportunity we got to take advantage of. Okay? They'll hand it to Rutherford, low snap. He will throw it. His complete to Drew Jordan for his left hand. Pit six. Just pitch and catch on that one. Travis is lightning in a bottle there by Drew Jordan as he was able to take the slant pattern from Zach Rutherford to make it 40 to 20. Station will bring it up now third down and one. They'll hand it off to Giles. I thought I saw a penalty mark. Look at what he does. They're really not wanting to get up after they hit Logan Giles. Rutherford looks, wants deep, has deep, has Logan Berry. Pass it in stride. Gets it in there for... Oh, they're going to say... They're going to mark him down at the one yard line. I waited. Logan Berry just streaks up the far side. They will hand the football off to the off to Wiseman, and he wisely gets into the end zone for another touchdown. 54 to 20. Last snap of this football game will be a Riley Sweat keeper that is ended abruptly by number six, Landon Addington, the 5'11", 155 junior. But as they do, the clock ticks down and ticks away. Campbell County goes to six and one on this season, ruining homecoming night for the home standing Cards Beavers. The winners will buy a score of 55 to 20. Now listen to me, proud of you guys, all these coaches are, but I want more. I want more, and I hope you all do too. Now give me two claps and a Rick Blake. <laughs> 